Welcome to my third video in this three video series uh, about nightclub photography. I'm gaining a bit more subscribers than I'm comfortable with, especially since all of them are from nightclub photography videos. So I guess I'll do this uh, video about editing as well. As you see, I'm in a new studio because I moved to Spain, which is also why I haven't uploaded any videos. And I'm not even sure if I'll ever upload any nightclub photography videos related again. Uh, anyways, I managed to delete all of my raw images from basically the last year uh, to, to save some space, but I found a memory stick I haven't formatted with some old images, which makes me able to edit them in front of you. Because uh, when I saw the comments come in, I kind of got a bit scared because I have nothing to show you, but now I have, so that's a good thing. Uh, and without further ado, I think uh, we're just going to go straight into it. I've just found, uh, found some videos that are like halfway there that I can show you the main aspects of my editing. It's really nothing special. And the main thing uh, I think to take away from this is that I edit, uh, edit very little. There's very little editing, uh, especially like uh, on the style of the image. There's a lot of removing objects and stuff, but not necessarily the style. So again, as I have mentioned in both of my previous videos, the main thing is to get a good uh, image in camera with the right flash settings and the right images. Anyways, I'll show you some mistakes I've made here and how I fix them and what images I ended up using and how I select my images. It's not professional in any way and after a while it's get, it gets a bit repetitive, which is why you should avoid as much editing as possible. <sighs> Anyways, uh, let's go. Okay, so here is basically my uh, Lightroom catalog. As you see, there's some images that are grayed out and that's because I've already edited and imported these images before and my computer has detected it. But the raw images are deleted. So this really well shows like what type of images I select from uh, the, the raw images. I won't go through it because there's a lot of people that I don't need to show on my on the internet but uh, this is like halfway how I do it so all of the grayed out ones are the ones I have selected uh, and this is basically just to narrow out so when I get into Lightroom everything will be uh, selected like this I uncheck and I use the for me it's the Ö key but there's a key on your keyboard <laughs> that selects you and I'll just go through click 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 uh, within seconds and I really quickly after a while you really quickly see what images that are good or not and for example this group uh, image here I have selected like six or seven images of the same ones and then later on in the process I'll select the good image uh, but this is just to narrow down and not import everything into Lightroom because it just makes it a bit more messier. Uh, as you see I select quite a lot there's only like the worst images that are not selected. Uh, or if they're like completely identical. Now this is a non-scripted video, so I'll literally just go on as if this was my regular editing routine, even though I know some of these images from earlier, but I've gone through, picked out a few good examples. Uh, it's also nice to mention that this is a really small shoot from one of the small local nightclubs uh, in my city. So there's not a lot to take from when I looked through. I think I was there maybe an hour at max and I would probably spend most of that time talking to people. Uh, I'm also still using my road mic. It's just that uh, because this one sucks. Uh, but yeah, so it's hanging there uh, for my convenience. Let's go. So this is my first image, uh, slightly slightly overexposed. This is also shot outside and there's a lot of yellow, which I'm not a really big fan of. Uh, so what I would probably do here is some slight, uh, slight uh, adjust, uh, exposure adjustments, crop it like this probably, uh, and it looks nice. To me, this is fine. I could probably maybe uh, add, edit the white balance a bit or something. Uh, I also know like how the client would post this. So this is how I would crop it uh, finished. I guess I could get closer like this maybe, uh, but I like it to keep it there. I could also probably also go <coughs> a lot of also, let's see, uh, four by five. Uh, yes, no. Like it works, I guess, but that's something you could do it on Instagram. So I would just keep it to this. Uh, the yellow, I don't care about uh, as much in the background. I don't like the color, 
but that's okay. There's no distractions, no other people. Everyone looks uh, nice. And still maybe a bit overexposed. Let's do this, control. Now, another really big, really big issue here is that uh, this is my Razer gaming laptop, which means it has no colors. Like there's no color accuracy, whatever. Uh, I've tried with different, uh, different uh, color correction tools, external stuff as well from my work, but it doesn't work. So uh, don't care about the colors, more like how I edit because this is really bad. I always, always have to double check when posting on Instagram. I always double check on my phone and then edit in Lightroom there before I post. It's a whole mess. Uh, anyways, here's another one. It's a slightly better exposed because I checked my first images uh, like this one. Now you see watching this one that I might actually lower exposure a bit more like this and here we have a completely good nice image for whatever you need it for on instagram uh, let's go to this one this is perfectly exposed almost so we would just do this i kind of like bright images so i would probably turn it up a bit turn up the heat maybe some saturation as i said the thing is you'll see on your screen is different from what i'll see i think uh, yeah, this is nice. I would probably leave it there. No more editing. There's no logo on the alcohol here. So for at least my country and this region, it's uh, okay. Now here is a bad example of some images I took of basically the same uh, group of people, just a few more. Uh, and you see, uh, I checked the images here, realized the flash was too uh, dark. I should probably have raised the ISO as well, because I don't think I did 1600. No, I raised the ISO probably. So that's the only thing I did. Uh, and I got the better exposure. So these people were like going away and I had to catch one of them again, say this didn't work. Uh, can I please take another one? And they agreed. And now it's like my job to hype them up again because they have already post. And uh, now I think actually I ended up using this one anyways because or like this one of the images from this series because it worked out quite well because of the Sony uh, Alpha's insane, uh, I don't know, depth, uh, whatever. So this turned out great. Uh, what I would do here, some broken glass, nothing problematic. This is a nice image. I would probably make it a bit warmer. Uh, you could also always just go through with the sharpening. This is set to some medium all the time. I don't care. Uh, it's going on Instagram, as I've said earlier. I never ever, almost never use this one. Uh, you might feel that your images are, like you look at an image and you can always adjust the contrast, always make it a bit more punchy, a bit better, a bit more colorful. But try to keep, it, keep yourself as reserved as possible because that's how it looks professional. Like I still struggle with this on my Instagram, just my regular pictures, uh, because I don't feel like they punch enough. Uh, but when I keep looking back at the really professional photographer first, it's not, the colors aren't crunched. Uh, the whites aren't like this and the blacks aren't there. So you'll just have to figure this out halfway yourself, but I really advise you to to just keep that thing as minimum as, minimum as possible. I could, I guess like, try to fix the yellows here. Uh, I sometimes do this on uh, on LED lights that are green or some sometimes really ugly, but here it's really obvious to see that this looks very edited. So I usually just keep it like this. I guess we could go down. And then it's all about balance. So try to keep them someone in the middle. Uh, I guess use rule of thirds if you're not comfortable. I, I just use my eyes to see what I like and it really doesn't matter because all the time I put into this image uh, uh, nobody cares about and they'll uh, see it for a few seconds and never see it again so so don't worry too much about the composition and stuff but obviously keep it in the middle say you want to keep the hands because they're so pretty you would have to do something like this and it ruins the flow I also you also use uh, the navigator a lot to see uh, a bit see the images a bit smaller to get a better understanding of how it would look like uh, or the balance in the image and for me this for this image this is really wrong in my opinion 
Uh, I guess it works. I guess we could put some text here, but that's not the point. So I would just, and the hands doesn't, it doesn't really matter. It's the expressions on their faces that are the, the most important. But again, the point was that uh, I made this image go to this. So uh, these ones didn't really work as well. I don't remember. Uh, here I would have to play a bit more with the highlights to get the skin tones right. And the exposure right. And then we, yeah, this is also a nice image, I guess. Uh, texture, no, like it, sometimes you can maybe do this, but uh, it's really difficult. Uh, then maybe some shadows. Nice image, it's okay. The colors are really boring, uh, but it, it's outside, so it's uh, usually difficult to fix. I have a nice exposed image outside here with me and it actually, there I am. So this image is also taken outside, but you see there's a completely different vibe to the whole color scheme, uh, in my opinion. So this is a nice image. I would just do it like this and maybe, no, this is perfectly exposed. Now it's perfectly exposed. So this is perfect. I, I like this. Uh, with me and some Raya random dude. The colors are great. The flash gives uh, our skin colors the right color. Uh, if you have a too weak a flash, uh, like in this image, the color of the outside lights would often dominate the face's uh, hues as well. So avoid that. Keep the flash really bright outside, in my opinion. Uh, let's see, is there anything else? No, so we can go to this image. Take in inside, uh, I guess we could crop it, something like this. Is it a bit off, whatever, and then increase the brightness, contrast, shadows, and then the color. I like to keep, keep my images very warm, mainly just to get the right get uh, the skin colors or skin tones right. I'm also somewhat colorblind, so it's an issue for me. Anyways, uh, this is okay. It works. It's a nice image. Uh, I guess we could actually add some clarity to this one if we just add some warmth, because all of the this looks a bit more like action vibe. I don't know. Uh, these ones I wouldn't really care about either because she looks okay, this guy looks okay, so uh, if you see up in the corner you wouldn't really notice them. Nice image, yeah. I'm not sure like the colors are a bit off here. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Uh, uh, this one as well, this is not the one I posted, I'm pretty sure, but I didn't take time to find the right one. But everything is the same except their expressions. Here I would uh, probably actually do select subject. I, I use select subject on a lot of my images actually, uh, because it makes everything a bit easier. Uh, like this, it's not really that important uh, to get everything selected properly because it's going on Instagram, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm gonna say that a lot. Uh, here I would probably add some contrast, saturation. It's already pretty nicely exposed. Uh, I'll just go with the sliders like this and check it out. The whites, the color, make sure it's not too green. That's an issue as well because I'm color blind on red and green, or at least halfway there. Uh, then we duplicate and invert. Um, here you could either go with the black one, which I guess looks all right, looks okay. I think I went with the opposite one where I would make it like brighter and very colorful. Uh, here you can add clarity because it won't affect the, the faces like this. And now we have an okay image. This is okay. Uh, you could also like add the gradient if you would like, like this to like attract their, 
uh, our attention up there. I usually do something like this sometimes, really uh, weak. Let's see. Something like this. And then while, while uh, taking down the exposure, up the blacks. I don't know why that works. Now this is just an extreme example though. I would probably just do this or something. And now we can see before, after. It's okay. Nothing special. Uh, vibrance. Lovely image. Okay image. Uh, obviously it's no portfolio image at all, but uh, it works. Let's see, this one is okay. This is just like a regular, this would be the fifth, ima fifth image in the, the carousel on Instagram. Uh, I would probably ca actually keep it kind of like this, just straighten it up a bit. Then go, ah, uh, let's see. Okay, and then I would uh, do this and just reduce the highlights really there and then honestly I would just keep it there no editing except the highlights thing uh, it's okay boring it's okay uh, a bit uh, more interesting image here again you would also always like to keep the hands in the image but it just won't work so we'll do like this uh, add this one, add some shadows, add some texture. Uh, here I think maybe we could get away with some clarity as well, because it doesn't really affect, uh, <laughs> affect the image in the wrong way. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I don't know how I got this job. Uh, I like it. Uh, I guess we could make it a bit warmer as well because the very blue light affects their faces. Looks okay. Uh, we also like, I can also play around with the sliders here, but I never do because I really, or I almost never do because I don't care. Some of the uh, nightclubs I shoot really like, really like a specific color theme, like yellow or orange. So I would try to see if I can change this. Sometimes I'll have to go into Photoshop, but I also know that, that uh, purple hits bet uh, is better with orange. Uh, so, I don't know, I just, yeah, whatever. Uh, let's see, we could, and this is what I'm talking about. Every time you go back and look at the image, you would always drag the slider a bit lower. But this is nice. Here again, we could also select sub subject. It's really good uh, on images like this, as long as the focus is intact. I guess not. Uh, but here we could just add some more contrast. Mm. Let's see the before, after, before, after, I don't know, it's good. Uh, another nice one here again, uh, a point I talked about in the full guide is how you shoot brighter than necessary because it doesn't really matter. Everything is sharp. Here I would add some contrast, uh, brighten it, add some color. Perfect, like this as well, it's overexposed, but it looks nice because it's a flash image and things are supposed to be overexposed. Uh, I don't like images that look like this. It's a, that's a big no-no uh, in my opinion. It looks very HDR, which I don't like. So uh, we keep it, uh, uh, was this the original? I don't know. We keep it like this. I don't know. Yeah, it's okay for now. Uh, I would also, er after uh, editing everything, uh, you'll after a while be blind to your own judgment. So after editing and starring everything, I'll just go back in and look at, the, do the small adjustments so that I don't overexpose or underexpose unnecessary. This one is a really great image, perfect for social media, really eye-catching, uh, almost like a portfolio image. This girl doesn't distract too much, so I don't care. These people don't distract. Perfect. Oi, oi, oi. Uh, this one I would probably add some brightness to, add some warmth. 
shadows we could decide either go this way or this way or like obviously a middle ground i think i'm just going to keep it like that it looks nice uh, always <laughs> make it as straight as possible i think in my opinion this is great i feel like there's some greens going on so i'll do this and then maybe add some both yeah this is a good image Perfect. No need to do anything. Like it takes me 15 seconds <laughs> on some images just to, to get the, the right exposure uh, and it's ready to go. Uh, just always check, is there alcohol here? Is there alcohol or logos here? Is there somebody doing something stupid? No, there's not. Um, okay. Uh, another halfway, not, uh, it's, uh, yes. Not the portfolio image, at least. I would probably just give, give this away as it is uh crop wise because it's nice for text and nice for uh, announcements and stuff so uh, this is obviously not the first image in the stack i would give my client uh, here you can also probably pop the clarity a bit like this and make it warmer and there you have it so this is actually quite good uh good it's a good image for uh, uh, showing the mood. It has the bar in the background. The colors are great. People are smiling, dancing. There's smoke. It's everything you expect from a nightclub. So it's actually quite good, good image. I don't think I've posted this one or sent it. Uh, well, here as well, uh, we have a really good image again for nightclubs. Uh, people smiling, dancing, a lot of people in the background. Uh, perfectly exposed so this again i would probably just add some brightness to again i just really like bright images uh, and then some warmth uh, vibrance maybe this is okay i feel like the colors are really off uh, that's why I, I don't do work on this computer uh, but uh, it's nice, it's okay. Perfect image. People don't really care about the colors, people care about how the image appears. Does it make sense? Like it looks professional and therefore it is professional. Therefore the colors are like there. Uh, I once had the, these people at the nightclub go, oh, it's, uh, you know those professional images on Instagram? Because they didn't really want to be taking pictures of, but then one of their friends told them that this was like, a big uh, like really professional thing uh, while I was standing there with my camera smiling so just uh, as long as you avoid my camera died which is why it's uh, darker outside I have a few images left with a few more I guess techniques I think maybe this video got a lot longer than it was supposed to be but I guess this is more of an in-depth tutorial now uh, so this one is uh, okay in my opinion, this one I would have to uh, do something about, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, but I really like this image. I think we could add some whites and some color. I'll probably crop it like here. There's a few issues in this image, which I'll talk about. Uh, I don't remember how I did this. I'll probably do it like this. So there's uh, the first thing I notice is the alcohol, which we'll take care of. And then there's this girl here, which doesn't look too flattering. Then we have two people back there, which looks nice. Two people dancing back there and some focus on the camera. So it's a great image. Uh, I think the colors here looks okay. Uh, for some of you, it might look a bit washed out, but in my opinion, it's a good thing. The contrast is still here. The darkest areas are still here, like closer to the camera, less smoke, darker. Uh, further away, more smoke, which gives it a bit of an atmosphere. So I like it. Now we're gonna have to edit this in Photoshop, but by that I mean I render and export every image and then I'll just uh, drag one and one into Photoshop and check. So this one, it wouldn't necessarily be that hard to remove. This is a bit of a gray area, but for you guys, it doesn't really matter because I've heard that in whatever country, country you are from, that these alcohol rules are a lot less strict, but we'll just do, honestly, this, 
this is everything that I would have to do to make it this illegal image. The only thing is that Breezer has a really chari like specific characteristic, which makes it easier to identify, but I don't think we would get any issues for this particular one. Uh, nice image. Is there, oh, geez, is there anything else? Like, I guess we could try to do like this. Uh, like this. Yeah, so you see like this actually works. Uh, and if you zoom out, zoom out, you will never notice. And if you do, you don't understand what's happening and you don't care unless you're a photographer. And we are not here to impress the photographers. We're here to impress the general people. So like this one, people won't even notice that there's a person there. So this is okay, I guess, uh, yeah. This is usually how I do all my editing. So say there's a glass or alcohol here. It, it doesn't have to look good. It doesn't have to look perfect. It doesn't have to look professional because nobody cares. If if I were to go through like the 100, uh, like 50 pictures, then I guess uh, I send every time. The clients don't notice. Uh, the, no, nobody cares. Quality, yeah, cheers. Uh, but we can uh, cross this out, save changes, no. Uh, let's go to the next one. Uh, not this one. Here again, uh, I uh, miscalculated the exposure. Uh, again, really lucky. So you don't have to retake the image every time as long as you shoot raw. By uh, moving the slider one stop, uh, I have uh, got back every detail in this entire image, uh, which is perfect. Now I would have to edit out this one. I could just show you how I would do that again. Uh, and we can go in here, Photoshop, and then I would really just either use Content Aware or just something like this. Uh, uh, perfect, perfect, perfect. And when we've when we've come to this point, uh, this is fine because there's no logo there anymore. It's just like things on a cup so as long as you can't see it yeah but uh, you don't care I for keep forgetting that nice image let's go back to uh, Lightroom there uh, this is an image from the same uh, place except I checked my images and realized it was wrong so this is a really nice image uh, again this is an issue this guy uh, we could do I know that the people who post this which <laughs> was me for a while uh, never post in four by five mode. Uh, we always posted like this. Uh, so I would just crop this to something like this. Edit in Adobe Photoshop, and then I guess we would just have to do something like this. I don't remember what I did here. Let's see if Content Aware does the job. And it kind of do. Uh, what? Uh, and there we have it. Uh, we could also remove this. No, it doesn't matter. Now the image is great. You have to look at it like it was on the screen, which is approximately this size. And you see that nobody cares about this. And if people even notice, it's just funny because we have raised this whole guy's head. Funny, funny, funny. Nice image. Uh, and that was the last one. Uh, a few more techniques I also tend to use is uh, brushing their faces. Uh, like this, and then controlling the exposure or the color. So that is also very normal that I would do because especially in group photos, say somebody's really white and somebody's really brown, I would try to, to compensate for that a bit. Is that lying in some sense? I guess so. I don't care. For example, this guy, uh, he looks really white and he, he isn't. It's just that the flash, flash is really white, so I would go do this. It's really quick uh, and easy with the new selection tools. And you can just add a bit of uh, yellow, and there you have it. Before, after. It just makes uh, people for you feel more comfortable <laughs> with themselves online, and it looks more realistic. I don't know. Uh, yeah, we can cover black and white as well. 
Uh, somebody commented that uh, I skipped it or never used it. To, in my opinion, it looks weird. Uh, I'll show you some of the Instagrams I'm delivering to. Uh, and none of them have black and white images. It just doesn't fit into their team or theme or their like uh, images at all. So to me, black and white doesn't really work. Uh, and I'm not experienced with it either. I guess it looks okay here. It's not too bad of an image, but uh, if we go back to color, the the color is also a lot of the time the thing that separates the subjects from the background. So yeah, I rarely use black and white, but feel free to do so. It usually saves a lot of images. Uh, some some images of artists, I would use black and white because of the lead lights uh, are so bad. This turned out to be a lot longer than it was supposed to be for some reason. I know that it was a bit of a repetitive uh, vibe to this whole thing, but uh, now you have a feeling of what I usually do. Uh, the qualities on this these images were really low, but. You got the gist of it, right? Uh, follow my Instagram. Uh, a lot of you have already done that, which I really appreciate. If you have any questions, put them down below. I answer everyone. Uh, I go in and check once a day on, on my mail. So if you have any questions I haven't covered, maybe if there's a lot of questions, I'll even make a new video, like a question and answers about nightclub photography. But uh, watch my full guide before you do so.